This video series has been made for the preparation of SEE examination grade 10 exams subject science. In this video we will draw biology diagrams which are commonly asked in examinations. If you learn few techniques of drawing it will help you to save a lot of time in examination. I will try to help you learn such techniques here. Hopefully it is going to help you and at the same time you will have fun while practicing this diagram. So we are going to draw internal structure of heart now. We are going to use a notebook, simple notebook and we are going to draw here. <coughs> uh, you have to start with this one. Uh, first you draw M shaped structure and try to use very light lines. Okay. Do not draw dark do not draw dark lines in the beginning draw very very light lines as far as possible so we are going to draw internal structure of heart so uh, you start with m shaped structure internal structure of heart m shaped structure draw dotted lines here this is m shaped structure and this is the middle part of M shaped structure and you draw it straight down okay till here right draw it straight down up to here uh, take this much length okay you just estimate and this is the end of the uh, this middle part of the M and try to shift this point towards left because you have to show heart tilting towards left side now join this to the end of the m and these two this end of the m and with this point okay so yes and with this one this one right <clears throat> after this this is the middle part of this m shaped structure and from this point you can line see you can see the line straight over here okay little bit down to this okay from the down of this point you draw a t-shaped structure in the middle okay you extend it forward and do not take it too high right make it close to the roof of m structure over here and draw another line parallel parallel to it and draw very very light line because you have to fill up other uh, structures figures here yes make the t shape structure here on top of m so this is drawn with dotted lines hopefully you can see now from this t shaped structure draw a you know cir half circle structure or half s from here you start from here and make it cross from this point okay this shaped structure right half s so make this uh, cross end of the s cross from this point the tail of the s end of the s will get crossed from this point okay so this is the end point of this s shaped structure half s this is the continuation it goes upward this kind of structure now this one and okay now this is this line parallel to this this way draw three blood vessels on top opening okay now this is done now this is overlapping this is on top this is down whereas this is on top this is down okay continue downward this way after this you draw complete this side draw a kind of bulging structure here coming out okay and this is the continuation here it is the continuation of m is over here extend it a little bit okay and make it open from here and from here make two blood vessels opening into it okay this way right and 
from here this is the continuation and this is the continuation of M shaped structure then you make it make this side also little bit bulging this way and open it up on two sides this is the middle portion and this one right now after this this cross line you can see the cross of these two from this cross draw two lines downward parallel to each other this way okay then this join this line with this one draw parallel to this line and join yes let's make it move upward or you can draw down way also downward also whichever easier to move your hand you do that way this is the parallel line to this one and make it join with this line parallel to this line over here huh? after this now this is valve okay opening downward this is also valve opening downward okay this is tricuspid this is bicuspid and there are valves here also opening upward complete them later now with this we complete the main uh, features now I am going to make this diagram uh, dark by using my black pen but you are not allowed to use ink in your diagram you should not use ink in your diagram not even for leveling that is why use your own pencil to make your diagram darker okay now let's fill up all the figures let's do this structure first this is T okay then line parallel to this one okay okay now this line opens outside in this manner okay continuation of this one then s structure this is the from here tail this is from here this is still you can little bit bend downward this way okay and draw parallel to this one use short uh, you know stroke so that you will not do mistakes use draw short short line so that you will not do mistakes while drawing Okay, now it seems that it is the continuation of this one okay now this side complete this side make it little bit bulging okay do this way then let's make it the continuation of this one and this one okay mm, this one middle one this one this one this one then it is little bit bulging out this way okay now we are going to complete lower part in lower part you start with this one yes draw a parallel line to it okay now draw this line okay. 
if it is easier to draw this way then you can move your pencil this way okay now the side make little bit adjustment here because my ink is not evenly done uh -huh. okay this way right now <clears throat> this one bulb this is bicuspid bulb okay or mitral bulb and this is tricuspid bulb opening downward and this bulb is opening upward pulmonary valve and this one is aortic bulb opening upward right so main features are completed here and now we are going to do labeling yes now draw musculo figures muscles muscular features here okay and this side you make it more features here these are muscular structures now we are going to do labeling uh, labeling four chambers of heart four chambers are this is left auricle this is right auricle this is right ventricle this is left ventricle four chambers of heart <clears throat> now four blood vessels this is this upward going is this is from right ventricle this is pulmonary artery this one is pulmonary artery pulmonary artery this one is going upward from your left ventricle emerging from left ventricle and going to different parts of the body aorta this is aorta okay and these two are pulmonary veins pulmonary vein both of these are and this is vena cava both of these are vena cava vena cava this is superior vena cava this is inferior vena cava okay four blood vessels are done now four valves four valves this is bicuspid valve And this is tricuspid valve. This is pulmonary valve. This one. Pulmonary valve. Okay. And this is aortic valve. within aorta aortic valve 
so four chambers four blood vessels four valves are done <clears throat> now this is septum muscular septum which divides two ventricles okay now with this we finished labeling also now course of blood circulation will be in this manner blood comes to heart through vena cava the both of this vena cava carry blood collect blood from different parts of the body and this blood is brought to heart through vena cava right ventricle from right ventricle this blood deoxygenated blood flows down to right ventricle from right ventricle from right ventricle blood enters into pulmonary artery so it is taken to lungs in lungs blood gets purified and blood comes back to heart through pulmonary vein pulmonary vein so oxygenated blood is collected over here and blood flows downward to left ventricle from left auricle then from left ventricle blood flows into aorta so that blood is taken to oxygenated blood is taken to different parts of the body so this is the course of blood circulation so uh, with this we finish uh, diagram now you can see the labeling properly here